Marquise Lee. Now, I know what you're thinking. I'm not very excited because he's been in the league for six years and he's never topped 900 receiving yards in a season. And he's coming off an ACL tear. But there's still things to be excited about. Specifically, if we zoom all the way out and look at that college profile, man, it's pretty nice. Uh, he attended USC, and while playing for the Trojans, he produced with a 19.8 breakout age, that's 71st percentile, and a 34.5% college dominator rating, good for a 65th percentile. He's also athletic. Um, he's got a catch radius of 101.8, that's 81st percentile, and a 10.97, 78th percentile agility score. The dude can move. And he's actually produced in the NFL. In 2017, while catching passes from Blake Bortles, he commanded a 23.6% target share. That's, that was best, best, uh, 16th best. And then he also, in 2017, had a 53.8% contested catch rate, which was good for 19th best. And the good thing about that ACL injury was he suffered it last year in the preseason. So he's had quite a bit of time to recover and should hopefully be nearly close to 100% in training camp. And the best news, no more Blake Bortles. Yes, he gets to catch passes from Nick Foles this time. And really, outside of Dady Westbrook, there's not that much competition. So you could definitely do worse than snagging Marquise Lee late in the late rounds of your fantasy drafts. And if you want even more information on him, you should check out Sean Spiegel's uh, blurb on him in the draft kit. Check it out.